Hey guys, welcome back to The Millionaire House. I'm super happy to have you here today. If you've been following me for a while on Instagram, then you already know that fall is my absolute favorite season of the year. I think it started when I was a little girl. My mom used to use the crock pot a lot during the fall season, and I remember coming home from school being super hungry and the house smelling absolutely amazing. It was kind of the beginning of my love affair at that time of year. And then as an adult, I found myself looking forward to the cooler weather. In Florida, it's really hot in the summer. Um, and so the fall temperatures start to cool things off a bit. And of course, football season and comfy, cozy sweaters, s'mores with my kids, um, the beautiful warm colors, and of course, pumpkin spice everything, right? <laughs> like, I am just a happier person during the fall season. And of course, you know, I love all the fall decor and the holidays are coming and it really gives me a chance to kind of showcase my creative side and how we style or I style my home and then helping clients style their homes. So today, I'm gonna to share our fall mantle with you and I really hope you enjoy um, what I'm gonna show you and maybe it'll inspire you in some way. So leave your comments below and let's get started. A beautiful fireplace is an inviting focal point in any room. So naturally, we wanna showcase it at its best during the fall and holiday seasons. Here are a few tips that should help you achieve a look that you and your family and friends will cherish for years to come. This year we are adding garland to the mantle, so in step number one you want to fluff your garland. It's a really important step that a lot of people fail to take, but it's a really important one, guys. When using garland of any kind, like this one that I got from Pier One Imports, it's important to make sure that it is fluffed properly, which means that every stem needs to be touched and placed to achieve your desired look. So make sure you take some time, put a little extra effort into this part, because it makes life a lot easier once you're ready to place your garland. See here, it's already starting to come to life. Takes a little extra time, but it's really well worth the effort. I always opt for pre-lit garland whenever possible, but if you're using a regular piece of garland, adding lights really does give the garland a nice touch that you can enjoy during the day or evening. And finally, although this garland was lovely on its own, I decided to add a little wired ribbon that my sweet mother-in-law grabbed for me from Michael's last year. Ribbon is really a perfect way for filling in any unsightly gaps in your garland, and it's a very affordable way to customize pre-decorated garland. My number one tip for using ribbons, always use a nice wired ribbon. It's easier to manipulate and place, like you see here. Once you have your ribbon in place on the mantle and it looks good to you, at this point you'd want to go ahead and add any extra picks or embellishments to your garland piece. But I didn't need to do that since I ordered a pre-decorated garland um, and I think the ribbon added just the perfect extra touch. Alright, on to step number two. Use tall pieces on both ends of the mantle to create scale and balance. Here, I grouped together varying heights of these lovely glass pillars from Pottery Barn. Translucent vessels are a great idea anytime you want to allow light to pass through a room or a space, like the lights that you see on the garland. They still twinkle from every direction with no obstruction from the candle holders. I also placed two tall champagne colored gourds that I purchased from HomeGoods last year on both sides of the mantle, 
and then filled in the open spaces with more gourds and the fall inspired premium flicker candles by Luminera, which can be found at either QVC or Pottery Barn. Not only are they the most realistic flameless candle on the market, they offer about 400 hours of candlelight per battery set. My guests never know they're flameless until they take a closer look and realize that the wax isn't melting. Finally, for step three, add your centerpiece. I found this wooden, thankful decor this year at Kirkland's. It stands out, but not so much that it pulls away from the entire design. I think it centers everything perfectly, and I'm really loving the way that it all turned out. I really hope the tips I shared gave you some good ideas and I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm excited to share my first official fall home tour with you coming soon and I'm looking forward to a great fall and holiday season with you. Until next time, be inspired!